Hi, if you'd like to hear what I've been sewing and what I plan to sew up this week, please stay tuned. Hi, lovely people, Josie here, and this is it is Josie. I'm glad to have you back here, and for my new subscribers, you're welcome. And if you're watching this video and you don't know what I talk about, I'm mostly document sewing related content, then if you DIYC and crafts videos, if you're interested in that, please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out whenever I upload a video. And also you could go ahead and press the bell icon so YouTube notifies you whenever I upload a new video. And today's video is different from the normal and I thought I'll change things up a bit and document my weekly sewing journey or what i'm going to call weekly sew and tell where i'll be showing you what i've been able to sew up a week before and talk about what i'm sewing right now and also my plans for this week if that's something you're interested in i plan to record this on a weekly basis and sometimes life gets in the way but i'm still i'm happy to come to you and tell you what is in progress even when i don't have something particular to show you and i thought when i do this i would be able to actually go into detail of what i've made and also get a chance to try on the outfits i'll have made because if i make a, a monthly roundup of what i've made sometimes the items are so many to keep changing into the same items so hopefully this is something that you'll find interesting and tag along and watch them as they come along and if you may if you may know or if you live in the uk you probably have an idea that we are going through a second a third lockdown and this time around the kids are at home with us so while i record this video they are seated at the table so if you hear some background noise it's caused by the kids who are homeschooling so they are doing their work but i've told them to keep quiet while i record this video and they're being really good and with no further ado i thought i'll show you what i've made first this week and this is the diando sironko jumpsuit i'll stand up and show you a bit of it this is the jumpsuit Unfortunately, it can't hold fit in the camera, but it's a mock, it has a mock, mock wrap, and it also features some pleats here for fitting. We've got pleats on the upper bodies, pleats on the bottom, on the pants piece, and also we've got pockets, definitely, and we also have pleats on the back bodies, and that's at the bottom for shaking, and it also features a waistband. And it has an overall good fit, really. Hope this is clear. So. And they are tempered at the bottom. If you can't tell, they are tempered bottoms. If you can tell, I made a sway back adjustment to just lift, raise this up a bit. And this is a common adjustment I make to many things that I make. The Sironko jumpsuit is by D&D pattern. It's a well-loved pattern in the sewing community. I think it was released about two to three years ago. And this is the second one I'm making. I reviewed it the very first time I made one. I will attach, I will attach, I'll attach a link in the cards here and in the description box below my review. But in all honesty, that review was a bit, doesn't give the true picture of the pattern. I almost thought it wasn't for me. I sold it up in a more stretchy fabric and this pattern is recommended for fabrics that have 60% stretch. It was a more stretchy fabric probably it was close to 80 if I'm not mistaken and it ended up getting so big and I know still it was quite big that I ended up taking in each and every piece to, to make it and actually I ended up also adjusting the pattern pieces but when I looked at the overall measurements and knowing that this fabric was just 60% stretch i ended up retracing the pattern pieces because i think that would end up giving me a good fit and i made it out of this john caldo textured knit fabric if you can tell it has a bit of a texture there i don't know if the pack up yes the camera can't focus and this fabric was from minova i'll still attach the fabrics i'm showing in the description box below just in case you're interested in getting them and this was gifted to me for a review and i thought i would sew it up i'm trying to sew up all the minova fabrics that i was given a while ago because some have sat in my in my stash for quite a while because they were working on their website but i'm trying to clear most of them so i start off with a clean slate 
and i love how this came out from the pattern recommendations i was supposed to up a size 36 at the bust that's mostly common to all the dia and do patterns i've made this i've made three patterns from them so now i know how their sizing fits me I'm supposed to sew up size 36 at the bust, then size 38 at the waist and at the hips. And I've fallen prey of I just blending into size 38 and it has ended up being quite big around the waist and, that, and the hips area. So this time round I decided to sew up size 36 throughout and I'm actually glad that I did that because it gives me a good fit. This fits better. If I had gone a size up, it would have been bigger because I didn't have to make any adjustments with the fit. And this is the 36 around the hip area. So I'm glad I went with that. And also this pattern is made. The tempered pants are supposed to be folded over the hem at the bottom. And that's the look I wasn't keen on. So I actually reduced it by, shortened it by three inches. That's at the lengthening and the shortening line and it has given me the fit that I'm really happy about. And this is a gorgeous fabric. I'm not keen on polyesters and synthetic fibers. I often go for natural fibers, but because this was a John Caldo fabric, I decided to give it a go. It actually feels good to the body. It actually feels even warm because right now it's cold over here. So it feels a bit warm actually to the touch. I'm not finding a problem with it being a polyester is a polyester and a last blend and it feels good to the body so i'm not going to discard all polyesters not all of them are so scratchy or feel synthetic not that i'm going to stop wearing natural fibers but yeah i like how the overall fit i got from this jumpsuit i managed to take a few photo shoots last week when it snowed heavily in the north of england i know people in the south didn't see any snow we had a winter wonderland last week and I managed to step out to take photo shoots in it. I was I'd still attach a few of them. It was just much fun stepping out in a short sleeved jumpsuit in the winter in the snow. And it felt really good. And then my next make is this. Let me see if I can change it to it and I show you. And my next make is this top, and this is the Melody Dollman by Love Notions Patent. And it's a blouse top pattern you could call it a shirt but just just so you know if you're petrified about the sh the whole construction process of a shirt if you've never made a shirt this is your go-to easy pattern to make and it comes with a cup they call it a cup collar and it's an easy construction let me show it to you hope the camera will focus on me facing it this is how easy the shirt is constructed and this is the back body piece no what do they call it it's an easy shirt. It comes in a few pattern pieces. This is the back piece, the front piece, and the collar is just a one piece collar. If you can tell, I didn't have to join them together. And it's an easy construction in all, and it comes with cuffs. The shirt comes with cuffs that you sew up on with, you sew up and fold over. I know I, my pattern is a bit busy. It has a few small flowers so you can't easily tell but it has a cuff over here which you fold over all those are added pieces and i bet the cuffs will be will look better in a plain fabric and i use buttons definitely just for buttons and this pattern comes in a few sizes it comes it's drafted for size x s that's extra small to 5 xl and all love notions patterns come with full bust adjustment pieces so if you know you always have to make full bust adjustment you don't have to make it with this and i sewed up size xs and that's my sizing in all love notions patterns i know when i go to the bottoms i go with size small but for the top i went with extra small and this pattern is semi-fitted i'm going to stand up and show you what it looks like on me this is the top and the back is not as fitted but it has a nice feminine look and lines to it and it's drafted for your stable woven fabrics if you go with the rayons and viscose might have to be conscious about it stretching and it's drafted to be worn in a number of different ways you can wear it plain and tucked you can wear it with a blouse on this with a skirt or pair of jeans it can be worn tucked in and it will look good or untucked and it's also drafted to be worn with just the tight front you open one button and just tie it up and it still gives you a nice feminine look. I think I love this. 
nice casual look if you can tell it calls it in in the back a bit more it really looks nice whichever way you choose to wear it i made it out of this cotton floral fabric which was gifted to me by minova too and i've held on to it i was hoping to make many i have had plans to make many things with this pattern with this fabric until i realized this is a pattern i cut up last summer i never got around to sewing it up because it actually calls for a lot more fabric than you would expect for a blouse or a top i think it calls for two yards of fabric however i would have gotten away with less because i shortened mine by one and a half inches because i've got a short torso so i end up shortening most of my blouses my tops so i shortened it by one and a half inches but it still it comes about around my hip line my hip area so it's still a long top if you'd rather have it longer you have it possible to have it that way and actually I like the final outcome and how it looks i don't know what took me so long to make this pattern because i bought it i could say two years ago or just after it was released but i never got around sewing it up i actually love that i made it up i got inspiration from crystal swords and stuff i watched her review and uh of the pattern and she reminded me that actually it's a pattern i have and i immediately changed my mind cut it up and it comes together pretty fast and actually the collar construction comes with a video tutorial so if in the instructions you can access a tutorial too on how to sew the collar which comes together so well i've never come across that technique known that i've sewn many blouses but i'm so sure this is not the last one i've been meaning to sew more tops in my wardrobe that are not only knitted tops and i think this is going to be my go-to top woven top and expect to see more of this and actually this these two are the only items i got around to making last week because life is busy with homeschooling and doing many other things and i thought i would also show you what i'm planning on making this week instead of these are also minova makes because i've held on to them for a while and i just want to be displayed that by the end of this month i saw up everything and these are the two that i have to go and you might have seen most of these patterns these fabrics before because i've shown them to you with my ambitious plans of sewing them up that month that never happened and the first one is this fabric that was loved by many it comes on a dark blue, navy blue background it has those gorgeous florals this fabric just spoke to me and minova i think stocks it in another colorway i think in a beige color i'm not so sure but i'll attach it in the description box below if you're interested and it's also a cotton fabric by rose and hobo i might not be pronouncing the name right you'll have to forgive me english is not my first language i learned it in school but it's not the language i grew up speaking and this is a gorgeous colorful fabric and i'm going to sew up the style akariana dress you might have seen it. it's been around for about three years the pattern has been around for three years it's a button down dress i'll attach the image of the of the pattern here just in case you don't know what it looks like i've been holding on to it for that I'll need your prayers and good wishes because it has so many buttons and my sewing machine doesn't like button holes that much. You should see me sewing button holes, but I'm hoping this will go well. I have the option of using snaps, but I'm not confident sewing using plastic snaps from up up to down just in case they go wrong. This is a dress that covers a lot, so I might still have to use buttons. I might go with red or pink buttons i think i have a few of them here i'll see what to do but this is what i'm going to use it for and i love this fabric and then the last fabric i'll be sewing up this week so i've got the patterns already cut out and i'm going to twirl the ariana dress and this is a gorgeous lady mcavoy cotton lawn i showed it to you a while ago i've been holding on to it for a while being so precious about it and not wanting to cut into it but I think it's time has come for it to be made. I've been looking for the perfect pattern. But at the end of the day, you never find that perfect pattern because you're being precious about it. So I'm going to use it to sew up. It's quite soft and drip. It really feels good. And I'm going to sew up the by hand London Hannah dress in it. And the Hannah dress is a wrap dress. I might, it's quite lightweight, so I don't think the skirt piece will be as full. But I hope to shorten the pattern. It the midi dress i don't think i want this rock dress in the midi and it comes with two sleeve options short sleeves 
and also a petal sleeve one of the short sleeves option is a petal sleeve then also bishop sleeves that are long but since i'm going to make a knee length dress i think it will be it will be best if i go with short sleeves because i just feel like if i'm going with long sleeves i could as well make the make the three quarters or the mid i could as well make the midi dress but i'm going to go with the short sleeves and then any length dress so i'll have to shorten it i'll look at the pattern and see how much i'll have i will need to take off and this is what i'm going to sort this week and probably something that's going on for a long time i'm in the process of constructing jeans and i'm doing it with a facebook with an instagram support group which is the sheffield social they've come together many ladies from around the world to sew up jeans those who want to brave and sew their first pair of jeans and they have a platform called slack where everything is being moderated and we have zoom calls where we discuss the steps we are at and i'm going to be i'm sewing up the ash jeans by megan neil so that will come up later and with this process we are sewing jeans uh for about five weeks we are taking baby steps doing the fitting getting consulting with each other about the feet and i could have sewn my first muslin and i'm pretty happy with it i can't show it to you right now because there are a few things that i still need to adjust but the process is going smoothly that will come up i'll show it to you when I actually i finished with it and that's it with what i sewed up last week and what i'm planning on sewing up this week most of these the pattern pieces are already cut out i might cut into one actually today and then also i hope to see you next week tell me let me know whether this is something you'd want to hear more of and i'm calling this episode one and tune in next week for episode two if that's something you're interested in and let me know if you would rather have this a uh, monthly roundup because i just feel like with a monthly roundup i don't go into details of each and every make telling you the adjustments i made or the let's keep my mind why i can't easily change it to them because there are quite many to just keep changing pull your hair together back again i think it would be a nightmare doing that so i thought i would just come in have sh shorter weekly blog vlogs of and updates you on what i'm up to otherwise thank you for watching and please like comment i love reading those comments and if you've watched through and you're not subscribed to my channel please go ahead and subscribe and press the bell icon so youtube notifies you Whenever I next upload a video, thank you for watching and see you again. Bye.